True, true. And this could be a part of the image because let's say this. Linda hasn't really did an interview or anything like that, right? So just imagine she does an interview and she airs out everything. And what if that stuff that Wendy, remember I had played you guys the Wendy interview like a few days ago where Wendy was asking him certain questions and he got really heated and he was cussing out Wendy. Y'all remember that? Um, I don't have the video no more, but you know, y'all remember that. So yeah, you can tell that there's some going on in that household. Because the way he got defensive, he didn't say, oh, these rumors are dumb. They're not true. He got really defensive and started calling Wendy a crackhead. Remember? There's a lot more to what's going on. And shout out to everybody come in the room. Make sure y'all hit that like button. We're going to go ahead and play the TMZ video again. Judge Matthews, how are you today, man? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing all right. I want to ask. I'm not good, rather. It's the worst days of my life. How about that? Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that. I want to ask you, you know, with news of the separation, how are you holding up? Not holding up very well. I would say the uh, other man. Maybe I'll be an uh, example for other man. Cautionary tale. Don't neglect your wife. You see how I'm here at the airport now, flying out, as I have for 40 or for 25 years. My wife has been third. Serving the community, taping my show, having fun with friends. That's what happens, guys. Never be too busy or never have too much fun beyond your life. So I do want to ask, you know, the date of separation is listed back in July 17th. Mm -hmm. Has this been coming for some time now or was it something out the blue? Well, ever since we uh, started taping here in L.A., I committed to staying home more and being, making my wife more, more of a priority. But as you see, I haven't. I'm still here on the road. Yeah doing the same thing and uh, in terms of uh, going out into another city but it was I was gone for three weeks that's what July 17th meant would you say you two are in a good place right now or able to maintain a friendship or oh yeah we're, we're still in the same house and we're maintaining a friendship and I'm trying to get my wife back Absolutely. I have to show her that though mm -hmm. um, Hopefully I can show her why we're there together before, and hopefully she doesn't complete the process. But um, I'm changing in hopes that she will. I'm gonna get my wife back, how about that? Absolutely. I just wanted to eliminate all the rumors too, that it's something about a baby or even me uh, molesting a child. It's none of that, I've just told you what it is. There were also, you know, kind of some rumors of any infidelity. Did you want to clear that up at all? You say it's solely neglect. Well, neglect, um, can create suspicion, certainly. And if you're gone as much as I am, you have every right to suspect. You know, you go to work, you go serving the community around the country, then you go with your guys to sporting events around the country, you go to other events with, except without your wife hanging with you and enjoying herself with you. And so, yeah, she would have a right to suspect infidelity. But there's none of that going on. That's not the purpose. That's not the reason for this. Yeah, it's giving Papa was a rolling stone. He uh, like, why are you flying out so much? You going to your other family? It, it it is giving that, Grandma Joy. You're right. He going out flying to see his other family. Oh, you know when you're out with your friends and you're doing this and that. Okay, yeah, you out with your friends, but how much time are you spending out with your friends? How much time are you spending with them? Are you spending days, weeks, months with your friends? Yeah, Judge Mathis, it, it, it's looking like you got another woman on the side or something. It, it's not looking too innocent. Wait, he said, I just uh, want to eliminate all the rumors. Did he call TMZ to say where he was going to be? So, oh! Yo, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, you know, he said he just wanted to eliminate all the rumors and everything like that. So did he call? And the way it was kind of suspicious, like, again, I can't show you the whole video, but he was kind of like walking somewhere. And then they were like, Judge Mathis, Judge Mathis. And then he stopped and talked to them. Like, if you at the airport, you're trying to get through, you know, TSA and everything like that. 
you're not stopping to like talk to somebody. Yo, this was a total setup. This was him trying to do his last bid uh, or his last plea and make it public. Like, I'm just trying to get back my wife. Because let's be honest. Women are very emotional. How do you get the women on your side? Oh, I'm trying to get my wife back. I bet you all the women here was like, oh, that's so sweet. They was like, oh, that's so sweet. He wants his wife back. Yeah, y'all fooled by the okie doke. He don't mean that. This was a total ploy. And he was not walking fast. He was walking head down and pausing. Yep, yep, yep. I'm telling you. Yeah. Or it's giving, damn, she going to take my money. I really, <laughs> I hate to put it that way, but it's giving, she going to take my money. So let me try to save this so she don't take all my money. Because 40K is a lot of money. Let's not play. And I don't know how much he makes annually from uh, the Byron Allen Network. I don't know how much he makes annually from that show, but um, yeah, 40K, that's going to deplete your money really quickly. Now, he said they're still living in the same house, but I mean, the house is big enough to where they got their own space. Uh, 40K a month, why would she want <laughs> Ronnie, that's true. Shit, let's just go ahead and get this vo divorce over with. 40K, that's a lot of money. Uh, do, not, not, uh, do not make no direct statements. Judge Mathis is not to be played uh, with. Make sure cover in every legal move. Um, I w Listen, I'm just using the words that he's using. I'm just using his words. Oh, after 49 years. Wow. Was it neglect? Is that why? That, that 40, wow. Nobody can tell you nothing. Ah, oh, man. Do we think that Linda is over it? Let's do a, a poll question. Um, do you think his wife, Linda, is over the relationship? Yes or no? If you vote no, then you're saying, like, there's a possibility they can get back together. If you vote yes, oh, she getting that 40K and bouncing. Uh-uh. Is that song that they've been singing? Freedom, freedom, maybe move, freedom make your body move. Beyonce. Was that already a song? And she just adapted it to Kamala Harris. Well, I love I, I love it. <laughs> All right. I think we got more no's on this one. I, I mean, no, no, no. We got more yeses. Okay, y'all think she's done. She's over it. He, he's not winning this lady back. If literally she's saying you're neglecting me and you're not at home and you still choose to fly out and you're still, you know, working and I'm telling you that I feel neglected, and mind you, why can't she fly out with you? Why can't she be there with you? Yeah, that lady done. She done with it. She done. Ain't gonna lie, he had me there for a second. Yeah, yeah. I think he had a lot of people, you know, done. Like, a lot of people who are convinced, like, oh, yeah, he means it. Nah, he don't mean it. You know, when a woman's fed up, that's how she feels. She's fed up at this point. If she went public, yeah, she is done. Oh, that's another thing, Sky. You're right about that. Yeah, it didn't sound like he was convinced either. You're right. Uh, when a woman has had enough, it's a done deal. Yeah. What's up, Winnie? How you doing? I, I think it's over with. He's trying to save face. Because, like I said, excuse me, depending on what the real reason is why she feels neglected and all this stuff, it can ruin him. He does a lot of community work. So if he's known as a cheater and he's doing this and that, then 
Oh, and also, too, I hadn't heard anything about him doing anything to a child. Um, that's my first time hearing that. And I meant to uh, edit that part out. Not edit it, but bleep it. Um, so sorry if anybody was triggered, but I never heard that rumor. Um, anybody else heard that or no? I didn't hear that. Um, I don't think she worked, y'all. I think she's just a, um, a homemaker. Uh, he's going to win her back, but he won't get uh, get any more chances after this one. Oh, okay. So Juice, is she keeping hope alive? You know, you didn't pray on it, Juice. So hopefully the prayer um, does, you know, does work. You know, I do believe in prayer. But um, also, too, with prayer, you have to do action. A lot of people won't tell. Oh, oh, let Listen, Juice be saying the Holy Spirit be talking to her. The Holy Spirit talking to me right now. Listen, when you pray, you also have to do the work as well, too. You just can't pray and then expect it to come. No, you have to do the work. And then that's how the prayer will come into fruition, you know? So thank you, Holy Spirit. See, Juice, that, now the Holy Spirit talking to me now, see? See, I just had to complete your thought. See, the Holy Spirit told you, but they to also told me to complete your whole thought. So we working together. <laughs> uh, Linda wanted to catch Greg's attention. Oh, true. I believe that. But obviously it's still not working. Yes, it's dead. Because Juice, we can't forget. Okay, you prayed, but this man is still going and leaving out of town without his wife. He's not working on it. If he wanted his relationship to work, he would cancel all engagements, all, you know, things that he got on, bookings and stuff like that, and be like, hey, I got to handle shit at home. Or stuff at home. Not, not We just talked about praying. I shouldn't say shit. But, um, you know, we, we, need, we got stuff to handle. You know, um, I apologize. I'm sorry. Is there a way that I can do this virtually? Because, you know, we live in the age where we can do everything virtually now, right? Just like I'm talking to y'all virtually. So with that being said, I'll be like, yeah, I'll do the commitments, but I have to do it virtually or I can't be there. Or if my wife can come, I'm pretty sure they would pay, you know, for an extra plane ticket for the wife to be there. Like there, there's a go around when you're like an entertainer or somebody, you can have go arounds to have your people around you. You know what the funny thing is? And this kind of goes into, uh, I don't want to say uh, not sexism. That, that's probably not the right word. But it's interesting. When you see these celebrities, you see the uh, what when it comes to women, they usually have their kids with them wherever they're flying to or going here and there. They'll have their kids with them. But when it's a man, he doesn't have his family around. It's just, him. So I wonder, you know, when AT2 becomes famous, will I have my family around me or will they be at home? That's a good question. Uh, and speaking into existence. Uh, anyway, um, I want to pray that uh, this is not a Chris uh, Kardashian, Bruce Jenner affair in the closet. <laughs> Thank you for being a member for 14 months. Uh, I don't know. Remember, we've been talking about the picture. For those of y'all who don't know, again, some of y'all are new here. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe. We're going to play Where is Judge Mathis in this picture? One, two, three. Now, again, on TikTok, they were alluding to, oh, this was the photo that ruined the marriage. <laughs> Where is Judge Mathis in this photo? When somebody gets it right, I'm going to ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Thank you, Juice. I appreciate that. On TikTok, they're saying that this photo is the one that ruined they made. <laughs> because the way Judge Mathis, oh, I don't want to say. Uh, no, he ain't the Santa. Are you talking about the one with the beard? Joy, joyful, not the one with the beard, no. On another trip, oh, y'all got it right, y'all got it right. Okay, I see y'all. 
Okay, Elf on the Shelf, yeah. In the Chair, yeah. They said that was the best. <laughs> they said that was the picture right there. Listen, y'all. We won't know until Linda speaks. When Linda speaks out and tells us, you know, what her rhyme and reason for everything. Uh, hell, maybe she'll get her a podcast. It seems like everybody gets a podcast. Y'all know Gary Owen, the white comedian, but he's more for, uh, he his, his audience is more black, right? Well, his wife, his ex-wife, I should say, has her own podcast now, so... Maybe Linda will get her a podcast, and once she speaks, oh, we'll be there listening. Trust me. You know. Oh, you don't think she'll ever speak? Okay, Aries. Okay. It depends on how mad she gets. If she gets all of her money, she not speaking. But if he tries to contest it, yeah. There's going to be some talking done. <laughs> Esther said non-binary <laughs> that was a good one. Oh man I'm really praying they work this out then go on tour to help other oh oh that's a nice business proposal you you should help with you should help facilitate that tour I would definitely go if you help facilitate that tour I think that would be a great idea. Cammy said they're not getting a divorce. Okay. As long as I get 40K, my lips are sealed. Yeah. If I get that money, I ain't speaking. I don't blame her. Linda is classy. She will not speak on it. Mmm. I wonder is DJ EQ here? No, she's not here right now because she said she did a party for them one time. And you know who they're close with? I don't know. There's always been something suspicious about this friend group. I don't know if you guys have ever paid attention, but it's something about this friend group. So Linda and Judge Mathis, they're a part of the uh, Magic Johnson friend group. Magic and Cookie, they're a part of that friend group, that friend group that go on cruises and stuff like that, and they be on yachts and shit. Something is suspicious about that group. I don't know what it is, but that little group that Magic Johnson and Cookie got where they take all the couples on vacation with them and they be on yachts and Central Pay and all that stuff, it's something suspicious about that group. And I'm surprised that this is like the first couple in that friend group to break up. It, it's something about that boat. These people on boats, you got to look out for them. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, y'all. I ain't going to keep y'all too long. This is a short show. I love being able to talk to y'all, entertain y'all. And I just want to say, again, thank you guys for supporting me. Yesterday, we celebrate me reaching 20K on Facebook and 48K uh, here on the YouTube. So I appreciate y'all. I love y'all for that money. She'll have to sign an Indian. Right, right, definitely. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. But we're going to go ahead and get the heck up out of here. Uh, thank you, everybody. And shout out to Juice Radio Talk Show as well, too. Uh, she did a video on this. I shared it on my community tab, so make sure you guys check that out. Love y'all, but we out. Deuces, y'all.